Well, it's nice to talk to you guys. I'm happy to be a part of this conversation because Jeremy, you know, you mean a lot to me and your creations spawn people who I'm sure you're amazed that you meet. And Noelle, your voice on this album is amazing. And I just think this production is just wonderful. I've been listening to it all day since I've heard it. And just for all of you all who don't know who, who you're looking at, uh, you're looking at me, I'm Jesse, and there's Noelle Ill and Jeremy Garner. Noelle Ill is a visual artist, voiceover actress and singer, songwriter from Southern California. Her artwork graces the band's mystical cover art and alluring imagery. Based in New Zealand, producer, author, and composer Jeremy Garner has an impressive discography spanning all styles of music from classical to electronic and funk, by the way. He can play some funk. <laughs> uh, both members are strongly influenced by the supernatural and metaphysical. In 2019, Jeremy published Fairy Magic, a book containing the history and practices for entertaining fairyland. The band is known for melodic singing, driving beats, and swirling electronic rhythms that put listeners into a trance-like state. Right, so no, talk I, about, I mean, you guys yeah. just kind of came, you came out of just random yet harmonious <laughs> yeah. lines. How did that even happen? Yeah, well, I, um, like I said, I was um, watching Jeremy's video, like YouTube videos. Right, very like, like, leave comments now and then and be like, oh, I can relate to this. And I would like leave a story where, you know, usually like my UFO story or things that have happened to me similar and I'd leave comments under the video and then he'd respond. And then I think in one of your videos, you said that um, if anyone had any other stories to email you. And so I emailed him like this bong <laughs> book of uh, all the things started. that have happened to me. Yeah, <laughs> and I think I, I definitely noticed you for at least a year, probably before that, just leaving comments occasionally. And, and like to me, your comments always stood out. Like I was always like, I knew your name, like, and it stood out to me. I was like, I, I know this person is really cool. I want to get to know them sometime. And I knew that there would be something in the future where we would definitely talk properly. Um, but yeah, when you actually emailed me with that story, it was like, oh, well, this is cool. And then I guess you must have just suggested it'd be cool to collaborate sometime. Yeah. And I didn't really have any songs because I kind of had given up on <laughs> working on music. Yeah, and I can't <laughs> believe so. that. I can't believe it because Jeremy is like, I've honestly never worked with somebody like so artistic, professional, amazing producer. He can play right. like like we were saying, like almost any style of music. And like I said, yeah. for the, oh, I thought you were talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> like for the for the witch girl song, um, he sent over like this. It was like a rap beat, like, it, and I was just like, Jeremy, oh my god, this is like hip hop <laughs> rap. And I was like, I'm gonna have to rap to this. <laughs> like, like, I'm sorry. Yeah. But that's what. Yeah. yeah. Like that's what came out when he sent me that and it was it was good. It was like really good. So I was like, wow. And yeah, he's got like dance beats and like he has like that world sound that sounds kind of like tribal with like the drums. It's and that's similar to myself. I love all different types of music, so I was just, but and, I was really uh, and like. Noel has this way of really feeling the spirit of the music and writing the lyrics that are so in line with what I felt in my spirit while making it, right. but which I couldn't put into words because I have a lot of trouble making lyrics and vocals. That's always the hard part for me. So to basically just be able to do the music part, which is the part I like the most, and then send it through, and then she just does pretty much all the rest because a lot of the vocal effects and everything are also Noel. Like she's really good at actually doing that production side of things is very professional so she'll send it back through and it will sound pretty complete and then i'll just make a couple of adjustments and stuff but overall it's just like make it the works. music send it through send it back and we'll go another <laughs> track yeah and so. and when jeremy was sending me some of like his music i was like oh my god because i was just like oh yeah we should collaborate because it was after the lost enchanters um he was playing some songs from that I really 
liked those songs and I could see how talented he was on the guitar and everything and I was like oh my right. god it's like really good so I was like yeah we should collaborate because I had written a song years ago mm -hmm. called fairy song and so I was like oh we should you know collaborate on something and then um I'm so thankful for Jeremy, like I was a total stranger, but he was like, yeah, let's <laughs> collaborate. And um, when he sent me over some stuff, one of the first songs he sent me was the music for Red Light. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like Grammy award winning, right. like exactly. <laughs> written music. <laughs> and I was like, I, felt, I always tell, I always tell him I feel like I'm working with like David Bowie or somebody like amazing. <laughs> and that's the thing about Jeremy's just been making music like this. When I first talked to him, he was just making this music just for fun. Like, yeah. well, because the spirit called him more so. Like, like I said, the correspondence between you two is natural. It's just obvious when you're listening to the music. And I think it's even more so amazing that the dreams correspond to the real life experience, like mm -hmm. whether it's a noise or an actual movement in your house, you know, yeah. it's actually real. It's alive. It's yeah, alive. It's, it's alive. alive. It's alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because it has like an Egyptian type vibe. I know, I love the Egyptian feel. And I, I feel like you were tweeting something about It's Alive around the time when, when we first put a sample up of that. And then yeah, I remember I said you, something like, it's alive, y'all. It's alive. <laughs> yeah, and then you also tweeted something about the other side lyrics. Like it was very similar to those lyrics before you'd heard that song. And that's actually been something right from the start before I even got to know you. It was like I was actually just following you on Twitter for quite a while, and I remember you would put out these tweets, and I'd be like, "That's exactly I know, what I was just thinking." Like, "Hey, I was just doing something like." That. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've I noticed like, that. I, I've I noticed that talk. a lot too. Like, um, when we came out with Red Light, when we first um, put that single out. I noticed like everyone started like wearing red and like Justin Bieber's album was all red and like right, I think exactly. Britney Spears had something with all red and I'm just like okay so like red is like suddenly just, like, the thing. subconsciously <laughs> yeah. going around the world and then I've noticed yeah. with the other side too I keep seeing like other side and other I keep hearing people say it I keep seeing it online everywhere it's just yeah. I, maybe I'm yeah. noticing it more but but I didn't really see anyone talking about that before. So yeah, that happens a lot. It does. I think yeah. when you're tuning into just the collective consciousness mm -hmm. or where the energies are going. And I like the fact that, you know, other side can also represent so many things because there's been so many, I think mm -hmm. so many changes this year in the world, just yeah. on so many levels that the idea of reaching the other side does not always have to be this idea of death, but it's like yeah. the other side of all of this madness mm -hmm. and where that's depressing but it's the other side of like depression like you know when someone is feeling very depressed or something very like um, negative happens in their life there's always going to be like that other brighter side that right. you can get to right. and you will get to so that's what that song was about um but yeah it also that how the heartache was worth it to, yes you know things like that i like those lyrics because it's yeah. like the idea of you know all of this darkness or pain or something that comes from something, but then reaching some kind of place on the other right, side of that that actually made it worthwhile, you know. Mm -hmm. And I talk about like the sun and it's bright and so yeah, that's what that song was definitely about. Um, and then I realized, oh yeah, other side also means when people die, they go to the other side. Right. But in a sense, it's a it's about being released from. Um, pain or hurt you don't have to be yeah. there anymore you can be on the other side 
And then Dualities was also another song that actually helps me when I listen to that song um, with anxiety or depression because you because it says you can't have day without night. And so it's like you can't you can't be happy. You can't know what being happy is like unless you've been sad kind of thing. So you have to have those two balances. That's actually right. one of my favorite songs on the album. And I, I, I think in a way, like, the more sadness you've felt, the more capacity you have for happiness and vice versa, mm-hmm. which is kind of, you know, that's I've always been kind of afraid at times to get too, too happy because I'm like, well, that means I could right. also experience <laughs> 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 the opposite of this. Uh, yeah. and, and, and I, the things that, you know, the world's going through, it seems, it, you know, even media too, <laughs> like, pretty much advertises how dark it is but oh, yeah, yeah. but there will be like a you know there will be a day when things won't be so dark because it can't be like yeah. that forever exactly right. yeah those no seasons the elements i mean we have to have all of them for it to work exactly, exactly. I mean, so yeah. yeah and i think knowing about them you got to find some kind of middle point where you can find this eternal everlasting place that does exist in the present and it incorporates all of those things and the knowledge of all of those things. And I think there's something there, which I think is love or something where that's where the magic and the beauty really is. It's like mm-hmm. walking that balancing point and knowing that you don't really have to be all the way over here, all the way over there. It's just like this middle. Right. It's that middle ground. Yeah. And what is the fifth element? Isn't it like, isn't it like. Oh, like spirit. Like spirit. Spirit. Or... Yeah. Spirit. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So it's kind of like that. That's like th- that's the center place. That's like you have all the directions, and that's within. That's and that's the eternal. Because like everything here, you there will be loss. There will be things right. that you have, and they go away. But in that eternal place, with which is like the realm of fantasy, imagination. Exactly. All things, it's you can't it's, it's, it expands. Yeah. Nebula. Yeah, that's just bigger and bigger, and and everything you've ever known is in there because all your memories yes. are there, all your ideas. Right. Future, and the amazing everything. thing too is like everything that you have in the physical world that's gonna go away, but you can have everything in the spiritual world here Forever. in the physical world and in the spiritual world. And there. both, and you can yeah. always have it. The other things you can't always have those. Right. So mm-hmm. make sure you're good with your spirit. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Saying, <laughs> Don't lose your soul. <laughs> right. Because then you won't have anything. <laughs> I'm thinking yeah. of that. Of course, I mean, I was raised in the church, and if there's that scripture. Where is it in the Bible that says, uh, think not on the things on earth, but invest in the things of up above? Oh, yeah. Like, yes. like the, That's what that means. <laughs> yeah. Like the yeah. treasure. The yeah, the treasure is right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because if somebody loses their their spirit here on earth or their soul you, physically, right. then when they die, like they're gonna have nothing. They're gonna disappear. I don't know what I, happens, but I don't want to risk everywhere. it. Okay. While we're, while we're talking about this, I nearly spilled this glass of water everywhere, and it really reminded that me. That literally of almost happened to me. No, oh, no, I have a bottle, so. <laughs> It just reminds me of those Prince lyrics where it says two sevens together, like time and definite. Try to catch the glass before it falls. Right. <laughs> right. Speaking oh. of the lyrics to that, and that lyrics remind me of the, the cover art, which is amazing that Noel helped, yeah, yeah. helped mm-hmm. design yeah. that. That's just, that's a perfect, like, it just invites you into this symbolic imagery of what this album yeah. entails. Well, Jerry yes, and- had sketched that design in, like, a sketchbook. And yeah. when I, he was showing me something and I saw it on there and I was like, that should be our album cover. <laughs> so he does, yeah, it, if he wants it's, to explain the design. And then I just um, took that and I'm a professional illustrator as well. So I just, you know, professionally illustrated that. But I love that yeah. design. No, it's great. I mean, me and Jeremy were talking and I had noticed how it broke down. Like there were two sevens. You can look at it so mm-hmm. many different ways. And it had all of, just like a symbol would do. I mean, it's perfect. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like the 
eternity thing as well, the infinite thing with with the duality of day and night, because it does have this rune in there, this Nordic rune as well on the side, which is kind of uh, also a butterfly shape as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it represents all of those stages of transformation and, and everything. Yeah. And, this and that rune represents the day. And I think at that particular time when they said day, they didn't really mean just 12 hours of sunlight they meant day and night that was their day so it's mm. like that incorporated the whole thing so yeah it's it's a very interesting it's an interesting symbol um it has a lot of meanings and layers and layers to it yeah and for some reason the number seven keeps appearing to me i don't know what it's yeah that's come up a, a lot the meaning me, uh, exactly but another vision that i had um i was starting to like drift off like fall asleep um in a nap so it was like in the daytime and then all of a sudden extremely clearly i saw this recording room that i'm in and through my it's called an apogee one and it's what i plug my microphone in it's like the interface that i plug my mic microphone in like out of that device was like this like flame of fire just shooting straight up and then at the top of it was like a glowing number seven in blue. And wow. it was so clear to see this. And I told Jeremy, I was like, what does that mean? And we're like, and then my brother was like, maybe it means like track number seven or something. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, maybe. And, well, Jesse um, knows all about seven. That's always appearing in your life. Right, that's my yeah. number. Like, just I, well, track number seven on the album, I think, is moon, is in the moonlight. Moonlight, yeah. I don't moonlight. know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I am supposed to go out on Halloween night and look at the full moon. <laughs> I think you have to do that. Yeah, I mean, 20 I years. Know. <laughs> who knows what I have? Yeah. And what the world's going to look like by then, too. <laughs> yeah, the, I'm sure. I actually think that would be the perfect time to do that thing that that guy was, that guy was telling me about, about going out under the moonlight at midnight <gasps> at a place oh, where you yeah. know that there will be fairies or whatever. Fairy, um, um, you should. It'd yeah. be a great time to do it. Yeah. It, the only problem is that there's mosquitoes here. <laughs> and I've already gotten bit. That's like, true. Time, so. <laughs> You're in California, so you don't get like the, the weather that I think of when I think of Halloween. You know, no, well, actually, you. what's interesting is that it's super hot here, like all through summer and into the fall. But right on Halloween night, it's always become just like freezing, and it's like it's falling. Oh, out. Well. oh <laughs> so nice. it might okay. actually be. Nice. Oh, yeah, so maybe by that time, there won't be any more mosquitoes, hopefully. So it might right. actually be really cool. But I'm definitely.